I understand what Stanley's saying, but there is a long, like you said, a long list of niggas that didn't go up and, and, and pan out to their potential. And if it's not called a bust, it's just a disappointment or we disappointed and you didn't do what you're supposed to do. And I feel like to own up to it, I did average 15, but that wasn't, that's not my potential level. I didn't, I didn't reach my potential. I didn't, you know, take advantages of the things that was supposed to be taken advantage of and shit. I didn't get a second chance to try to do that shit. Stanley, he had chances to prove that he what could do shit. What pick was he? Hey. And he was a high school phenom. Well, you know, I mean, the hype around him in high school. He fuck was up, man, listen, I was the number one pick. I made one all-star team. I didn't, everybody else number one picks besides like Ola with Candy and like, kind of like made more all-star teams than I have. I, I don't look at my shit as well. I was the number one pick. Y'all can kiss me dead you in my hurt. ass, bro. You got hurt, though. Yeah, but still, yeah, I had injuries. one of the biggest all that, injuries we've yeah, ever but, seen. But I had too. injuries, all that shit throughout my career. But still, what I did for my teams, mm -hmm. night in, night out, could talk. nobody else fucking do. You couldn't you know be what considered what a bust then. Because on paper, I averaged 12 for my career, 13 for my career. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You look at that shit, oh, then Kane was a bust. He's number one pick. He should have averaged shit. But that's the but that could be this that could, the that could be. But I know what the fuck I did. You ask motherfuckers the teams I played on, could we win and do what we did without Kenyon? No. Absolutely. So therefore, the people that's saying these opinions about bust ain't never fucking played. Who you played with, you know though. But it's like who you played with. Yeah. It's like you played with yeah, motherfuckers played, yeah. who did things where you didn't have to do as much. And on the, days they, have, there, on the days they weren't there, you killed. So, so you that, can't be a, you but, couldn't but be a real bust. Like, but, but, I, but I was the number one pick. But you know what, what, what is his skill? You know what I'm saying? He was defensive, you know what I'm saying? He was a slasher. You know what I'm saying? Coming out of high school, he was supposed to be one of those guys. Like, 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 okay, so like Tyson Chandler, right? Right? Yeah. He was never expected to average 15 to 20 points. Yeah. Right? He was a defensive guy, a hustle guy, block, shot shot, yeah, But coming into the league, though, would you say that? Yes. No. Yes, coming that's into the league, he was. he was a defensive that's player. What he, I mean, that's what that's he was. Yeah, he was but never going to average 20 yeah. points. But at Dominguez, would you yes, say? Yes, you would say he was a the phenom. He was, was he oh, was, my oh, God. He was a phenom. He was an athlete. He was an, he was athlete. an athlete. That's what I'm saying. What Rebounder. I'm saying? Like, in that draft, the most offensively skilled person was... Tight, uh, was Eddie Curry when it came to skill, yeah. like natural skill. Back was, to the basket, post up yes. foot. Right? Yeah. So he was the one that offensively mm -hmm. was supposed to be yes. dominant. That's why they drafted both right? of them. Um, that's why it was defensive, yeah, and that's why they drafted both of them. Yes. So one was a defensive guy. So when you look at Tyson Chandler, like his numbers, like that matches his skill. Yeah. 20 years he played, that matches him. He can never be called a bust. Yeah, right? right? If your potential is supposed to be this, like you're supposed to be some guy who's going to average 20, we're going to put our, our franchise on you as the guy who's going to carry us. And you don't. That's where it comes from. No one put the franchise on this man. No. Yeah. You're number eight pick. No one put the franchise on you. No. And then right? You, so that's yeah. not, that's not a, that, you're not a bust. And you just you, didn't pan out. And then you're looking at the facts. I just speak on my situation. You look at the facts, right? If I don't leave the Eastern Conference in 2004, mm -hmm. right? Forced to leave, not by choice, like forced out. Didn't, wasn't offered a contract mm -hmm. with the Nets. I'm playing in the East at the time. What are the fours in the East that's that was doing what I was doing? Nope. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, that situation messed me out of multiple all-star appearances. All these, so all these things are factors. I go to the West, playing a four. Timmy. Tim. Dirk. Dirk. Amari. KG. 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 Yeah, yeah. Shit. Zach. Zach. Yeah. You know, I'm, she, she <laughs> just, just, you know what I'm saying? Off top. Mm -hmm. When I sign my contract to go to the, <laughs> I'm already. Boozer's there too, right? I'm already Boozer seven, in Utah. Yeah. I'm already six, Elton seven. Brand. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so just imagine, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but if I don't leave, then the narrative is nowhere near mm -hmm. what people might try to put out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, these are facts. Like, How much thought did you put into that before? Did you have any other conf uh, offers from Eastern Conference teams? How much thought did the you Hawks. put in? Mm. Hey, who, hey, who they had at that time? Like, Theo? No, it was I, Theo yeah, and, but still, I, me going to Atlanta at the time yeah. wasn't the fucking best move. 
<laughs> personally was not the, no 26 year old Kenyan in Atlanta uh, not the best move now it, it all depends on <laughs> so, the effort, like the effort you give like my my when I say bus it's bitch you should have tried yeah I bitch you should have tried right so like when I look at someone and say all right well I can I can look at who's in front of you and say well you just ain't getting the opportunity Right, you go out there, you playing hard. Now you got to change your role to fit the team. Right, you're doing what it takes. If you just didn't fucking try, you're a yeah. bust. Right, that's that that that's what that's what that bitch you should have tried. That's how I look at it. Right. So when I when we sit there and say, all right, you number one, number two, three, pick this and this. All right, let's see how you play. But what Lazy, are you gauging? What are you gauging? Shape, what are you never gauging? Like you, the, I, the you should have tried. Where is that you should have tried coming from as you're watching? Are you saying the nigga not going for the ball? He, he, he's not playing at a level of the rest of everybody else. He's playing down in the competition. Like, where is the metric you, you, of... Are you, you compare, or so I'm, so, you've so, seen the so, game. You've seen players. Talking, they not prepared. I'm going to give you a better one, comparison what he's talking about. If you compare Detroit taking Darko instead of Melo. But why was I'm saying, why was Darko playing the way he was playing when he? Got I'm saying, but game? but 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 if you compare the careers, right? Mm -hmm. Darko was a bust compared to Melo. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah, they took him in foreign. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you had the opportunity to draft somebody of Melo's caliber, and you compare the careers, of course they gonna people gonna say Darko was a fucking mm -hmm. bust. You know what I'm saying? Because he was there, second pick, all that shit, and he didn't. From yeah. what what everybody says about him, he didn't work hard. He didn't do these things that was worthy of a number two pick to come in to, to try to play to your. Point, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So then if you compare the careers, and it's like, yeah, he... But I was there when Darko was playing. I was in Detroit. Mm -hmm. He did not get any opportunity okay. to prove that he okay. could play. But, but what I'm okay. saying... What I'm saying... I wasn't, cool. What I'm saying... But he was never going to get... But be, be That's honest. what I'm saying. Like, be honest. He was at a disadvantage. Melo, Wade, Bosch, they should, all should be happy that Detroit picked him. Because at that time, Rip... Was Wade gonna be starting over Rip when he first got there? Yeah. No. No. He wouldn't. Have. No. If the Wade would have went to Detroit. No. no. Right. No. Huh? O three. Bosh. What? O three. O three. D Wade. No. No. You're talking about the D Wade we know now. We're yeah, we talking about, talking about, about, oh, talking talking about, about Richard Hamilton. I'm talking about Richard Hamilton. I know. I, we're talking I, about Rip. Me. This but, is but, Rip. But, I watched the Detroit Pistons before that O four team, and they was it was Corliss Williamson, Clifford Robertson. Oh, that team they, they got. They, 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 uh, oh, that team they got swept. Uh, yeah. You playoffs. I'm talking about. You're talking about a. <laughs> you're talking about Rashid, now think about this. Hey, the now, team Bosch, they got swept in the playoffs. Now is Bosch going? Is Bosch going to outplay? Um, <laughs> Rasheed Wallace? Well, Rasheed, that I mean, Rasheed out had out just came. I know, but is he going to outplay Rasheed out Wallace? Mm, <laughs> no. Nah. So their careers wouldn't have panned out the way it is now yeah. because of the team. True. You went to a team that 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 was they they didn't play very well, and they got a top pick. So whoever got there was like. Like, Melo would have had the only chance because he had Tayshaun Prince, but that would have been split in time. But Larry really didn't like playing younger young players, players either. You know what I'm saying? That was the... So, yeah, you're right. You're right. You know, so my thing is, when I watch you play, how did you play? Were you going out there giving max effort? Were you going out there every time you made a mistake? Oh. But think about the mentality. Uh, uh, think about your expectation of playing. Uh, uh, if you got an expectation of playing and you only playing eight minutes, ten minutes... How did you play him? Exactly, but your mentality of knowing you you expecting to play minutes where you can get comfortable, but then you don't, and you already creating resentment of the coach and the players, and you over there. I remember, but that party in with Darko, he's like, I don't fucking play. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna get okay. fucking the, trash tonight. But this, it become busted. Hey, that's what I'm saying. But his mentality wasn't that in the beginning. Well, it wasn't. That, it became that over time after you see that I'm not gonna play because I got these. I got Ben Wallace. I got Antonio McDice, and I got fucking Rasheed Wallace in front of. There's no chance of me playing. No I, chance. That, but that's what I'm saying. I I can't respect it because I was a 15th player. 31. I don't I don't supposed to play. I have Larry Hughes, Mookie Blaylock. I got um. Shit. I had another kid who, who got drafted, Dean Oliver. I have um. um uh, Bobby Sura, mm -hmm. right? Jason Richardson. I have no chance of fucking playing, right? You give me two minutes, I'm taking five shots. That was a different mentality. I'm taking five shots. Mentality, though. People are like, how you take five shots? Easy foul. Easy. Foul. Easy. Foul. Easy. Uh, yes. On the free throw line, I get the ball back. <laughs> Score. Foul. Oh, my bad, coach. 
Right. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Some of y'all niggas got on ice. Like, I'm like you fake hustle. Different. Fake hustle. Yeah. I got two minutes. I got two. I don't. I got two minutes. The two minutes turned into four minutes. Four minutes turned into eight minutes. You built different. Right. Yeah. So, but that's what I'm saying. So I can't. I can't accept that you sit on the middle. Like, I ain't gonna never get in. They gotta blow somebody out. Like they. Yeah. Like. I, I need to be prepared when I get the minute. All I can do is my part. I can't yeah. sit there and say, well, until you give me some time, well, I gave you two minutes here. I gave you four minutes here. I gave you eight minutes here. What'd you do with it? Well, shit, that, that ain't enough. Uh, nah. Yeah, that's why I've you seen it. I've though. seen it. I, look, I remember, I'm sitting here, dude. The funniest, it's the funniest shit ever, though. But he, first of all, we got the Gatorade bottle. He done already took, so he's two, it's two beers per Gatorade bottle. Right, right. So we in we in the fourth quarter. So he on eight. So he done. He's just sitting there drunk in the motherfucker, right? And he talking shit about Antoine not guarding T Mac, right? So T Mac doing the same same fucking move. He gonna post up, right? And then if we quarter front, he gonna get the double back screen, mm -hmm. come out the other side, hit the jumper, right? So see this motherfucker, they paying him the max. He can same move. Watch, front, uh, back screen, boom, hit him. See if that was me, I wouldn't even front. I'm gonna just let him catch. He gonna try to do a little fit. So he's talking all this big shit, right? Drunk to the up. Coach subs his ass in. Bah. We said eight beers. <laughs> bah. Go get him. Right? We were like, oh shit, this is about to stop this shit, my nigga. Right? Team back post up. Quarter front. <laughs> <laughs> Took off. Boop, boop. Get, sub, get your drunk ass out of here and sit your. But right there, it let me know, like, yo, they gonna, they gonna make an example. So I gotta be, I gotta be ready, and that's when I really start <sighs> engaging. So when I say, "Yo, oh, fuck. you're creating your bus, you're you're following the narrative that someone's trying to give you," but what right? So I can't say, I can't say they didn't give you the opportunity because I can look at your stats and say, "Oh, you got six minutes here, you got eight minutes here, you got five minutes here." What did you do? That's what I'm saying. You built differently. I'm built differently. Certain niggas that took those opportunities, I I knew that learning from a nigga that taught me, not necessarily you, but similar guys. I was like, Shy, when you get in the fucking game, mm -hmm. don't take these minutes for granted. Because I used to, my first 20 games, I wasn't playing mm -hmm. till the end of the game. And I used to be like, man, fuck this shit and passing the ball. And until I said, I don't give a fuck about one minute, two minutes. I'm getting three, four, five shots. I'm not passing to none of y'all mm -hmm. niggas. I'm about to show it. At least I can score this bitch. And then I started bringing the team back casually when I came in. We down 20. Next thing you know, we come out of the game, we down 10. Yep. I started seeing the value in that. But these guys that we talking about didn't have that mentality then because of the type of guys that was in front of them. They wasn't thinking, man, I got two men. Them niggas like, man, fuck this. Give yep. me two men. I'm about to go party. I can't wait. But that, but I got that, bottles waiting. But, then when we, but, but that's what I said. So when we, when we ask the question, when someone says, yo, that's a, that's a bus, we know what the mentality was. Yep. Right? So we can't we can't we can't protect you if you gave up on you yourself. Gave up. That's yeah. it. That's if what a the bus is. If a, coach, gave up. if a coach says, hey, we we down 30, and I'm sitting there like, oh, we're about to leave. And coach be like, yo, sub. And you look up this, 30 seconds? And you be like, I'm good. Nigga, ah, ah. Yeah, <laughs> I got 30 hey, seconds. One shot of watch this shit. <laughs> Go in that motherfucker. <laughs> ah, ah, foul. Shit. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna get my shot off. Like, shit, what the fuck? What the fuck I supposed to do? Mm. Now, you put me in the game when I got in the game 0 0. Mm. Z 0 0. Mad That's why I don't believe in sportsman like Conda. Fuck whoever came up with it. Fuck you. Yep. Fuck you. There's people, there's people who's coming in the game that's wishing for these three, four minutes, and you talking about they should hold the bucket? No. Shut the fuck up. No. <laughs> I was up. one of them niggas. Hey, that's I three got... minutes left in the game, man. I'm trying to get more minutes. I ain't. I don't give a fuck what that score is. Ten points. You trying to minutes. score on me, I'm trying to score on you. 100%. If it's okay to be down 20 and go quick offense, then it should be okay for the offense who's up 20 to keep pounding on that ass. Man. Pause. Woo. <laughs> Major. Major. Right? Major. I'm saying, like, like imagine yeah. you in a game. You up 20, and I'm like, and I come in, I'm like, oh shit. And I'm sitting here trying to score. Oh, yeah. And then you get the ball and like, nope, you gotta, One, you gotta, two. you gotta pass. <laughs> and, I keep, and, I keep, and I come back down there and come and score you. Yeah. But eventually you're gonna be like, oh, fuck okay. that. Yeah, nah, hey, yeah. swing it. Swing that bitch over here. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and I and that swing off that bitch. <laughs> For sure. Nah, so I'm, yeah, I'm with you. Nah, I don't, yeah, listen. I'm, I'm leaving that. But that's what yeah, you should have been stopping me. 
Yeah, if he if he if he thinks himself as a bust, then that means that that that's inside your own effort. Then that means you know you really didn't. Well, let me take that shit back. Your... Then I can't consider myself no goddamn bust. Then because I was a maximum effort, one hundred percent of the time. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk I give a, a fuck. Bit. What's up, everybody? As you know, Gills Arena is presented by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy is the easiest and best way to play fantasy sports. You can pick higher or lower on your favorite player's fantasy projections, and you have the opportunity to win up to 20 times your money in a single night. We're doing five ways, the four ways, the three ways. You know, you can do them two ways too, but the brewer bread is at the five way. Who, who, who you rolling with right now? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I just picked the five way. That WNBA. That WNBA, all five, let's rock it. Let's get this yes, bread. Sir. Now, Underdog is available in 30 states and Canada, except Ontario. Get your minds right. <laughs> get on with the Underdog Fantasy crew. And if you want to get down, use promo code GILL and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. You put $100 in, they give you $100 right off the top. You start with $200, really get them pickups going. Cool. Everybody out there, make your next move your best move. Download the Underdog Fantasy app. Use promo code GILL and they will match your first deposit up to $100. You can't beat that. We appreciate y'all rocking with us. Keep watching, keep supporting the movement. I'll do it again. Use promo code GILL. Sound like a good promo code to me. Mm -hmm. Agent Zero. Change the game. Put that respect on his name. Look, with the honor call for greatness, the chosen a few that carry the gift of genius. Who do what they do? Who possess finesse of less with desire? It's true. I'ma say it loud, none other than who? 